But then, as the other plane descends toward the runway for one more touch and go, something is wrong. The landing gear is not down. The plane careens toward the end of the runway. At the last second, our cameraman scrambles for cover. As a last resort, the water bomber pilots throttle up to get back into the air. Everyone is stunned. What's happening there, Corey? Like, they didn't put landing gear down. No landing gear. Oh, no landing gear down. Fire, man. What they happened? Have, they didn't have the landing gear down. They touched the pavement. Like I saw sparks and everything. That's why I got off the runway. Unbelievable. No one knows how badly damaged the plane is, or if it can make a safe landing when it comes back around. The crew lowers the wheels, but the hydraulics may have been damaged when the plane scraped along the runway. They do a flyby to get a visual confirmation from the ground. Thumbs up, gear is down. It's gonna be a great training for them. Oh, we didn't want that type of training. Chank is in radio contact with the Turkish pilots and the water bomber. They say it shows all down and locked right now. Okay, yeah, look. But I I'll confirm that. They had no hydraulics? That's what they say. Oh. If the hydraulic lines are damaged, the gear could collapse under the weight of the plane when it touches down again. A crowd gathers on the tarmac, waiting for the plane to land. We'll have to see what damage has been done to the hull. The damaged water bomber makes its final approach. Everyone holds their breath. Landing gear holds, but now there's a problem simply steering and stopping the plane. It's so bad that the nose of the plane rolls off the runway before coming to a halt. Can't steer it. No hydraulics. Is it? Oh yeah. There's a 10-foot gash in the bottom of the airplane. Yeah, good. And hydraulic lines have been damaged as well. Yeah, we gotta tow it backwards. Oh no, we'll just keep everyone out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Away from the door. Doors open up. Kill you. It's a crushing blow for the Buffalo crew. The Turkish trainee pilots are dumbfounded. He's open up. As Corey and Norm assess the damage. Okay. Now, see the daylight. Yeah, that's a bad yeah, that's sign. Not, uh, that's not normal. We have a picture of this. Corey jumps into the cockpit to try and figure out what happened. Yeah. If you get in the airplane right afterwards, you can just tell what wasn't done properly. Since the gear worked, this could be a clear case of pilot error. Someone will have to report the whole incident to Buffalo Joe.